Hey, beer tubers, it's Ryan here, back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to look at a beer and I got in a trade with Daniel, known as the Endosymbiosis on YouTube, fellow beer tuber and member of Beer Geek Nation. We're going to take a look at a beer very close to him. This is from Bell's. This is Hell Half No Fury. This is a Belgian strong dark ale, so... Something's going to be, I mean, AVB wise, it sits at, I believe it was 7.5%. Yeah, 7.5% ABV. So that's somewhere you'd see along the lines of a double, Belgian style double. But um, this is actually batch 9,999. So they, they brewed this one right before they did their, their batch 10,000, which hopefully I can get a hold of that one of these days. Pour this thing in my Chimay uh, bottle conditioned beer, so there's some yeast in there. I'm gonna try to keep most of that out. Okay, let's. This is a very, very dark beer. Darker than uh, most quads. I'm not getting any light through the uh, Chimay chalice here. Uh, I got about a finger. It's uh, like a really light brown head, mostly small bubbles. It's hard to tell how much carbonation there is. I did get a little bit of yeast in there. Can't really tell as far as carbonation. Looks like it's not too car highly carbonated. Let's get the aroma on it. Mm, definitely a big time yeast character. Uh, like a really fruity yeast esters coming off this one. Um, some dark fruits that you kind of get with these style of beers. Mostly like a raisin, maybe a little bit of a a plum in there. It's definitely got a sweet aroma. Um, maybe a hint of brown sugar. I'm also picking up maybe like a tiny bit of licorice. I don't know, some some kind of uh, that kind of character on it as well. Actually, it has a little bit. Maybe not licorice. More more maybe like a, a root beer aroma on it. Uh, the the yeast character really dominates this one with those fruity esters. So. I'm gonna dig into this one. Cheers. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Um, yeah, it definitely tends to be more, uh, in my experience, double like than quad like. So it. It's got some good flavors going in there. It, there is some complexity for sure. First thing I kind of noticed with this one, it's not as dry as I thought it would be. A lot of the Belgian beer is very dry. I do pick up some of that 7.5% uh, alcohol in the back end, but it's not too much. There's plenty of other flavors going on, but I didn't get any on the uh, nose, so unfortunately the, uh, the malts don't quite cover it up. But on the front of the tongue, I get more carbonation than I, I thought I was going to get with this beer. Once that fades away, it reminds me of another beer that I've had from North Coast, their Brother Thelonious. Uh, the, the, there's some similar little characters between those two beers. So if you're on the West Coast, you can't get Bells. Um, try North Coast Brother Thelonious. That, that, that has a similar kind of character to this one. In the sense that I get kind of that cola, but mostly like root beer character on there as well. Then you get those fruity estuary notes. I'm not really getting any uh, of a spice character on it. And then the dark fruits. Um, this one's nothing strong about the dark fruits that are there, but I, mostly that, that kind of root beer character dominates for me, at least initially. Yeah, the, the caramel component of this beer definitely reminds me of like a, a, col a Coca-Cola for sure. Kind of has that almost syrupy kind of sweetness. Mouthfeel on this one's medium body. Although it does leave a nice leery character, so it does kind of coat your mouth fairly well, but it's not the heaviest drinking beer. Actually, as I sip on this more up front, I do get like a little bit of uh, a spice character. I don't know if they're using like star anise in this or something, but there, there is a little bit of like a black licorice kind of spice note up front. Then it goes into that kind of root beer, cola flavor, along with those kind of dark kind of fruity ester character and then it fades out fairly smoothly. I mean it is a smooth drinking beer for sure. 
This beer almost seems like it's going to have this kind of nice, like chocolatey almost finish to it, but it's kind of weird. It doesn't go quite chocolate, it just kind of sticks with that uh, sweeter caramel flavor in it. But it's definitely a solid beer. I'm going to give this one a B. Uh, it's definitely above average. Um, I think I've had some better Bells and Strong Dark Ales. This one ended up not being quite as complex as I was kind of hoping. I'm not a huge fan of that kind of, the cola kind of root beer character on it, because it does remind me a little too much of a soda, but um, it is very smooth. Uh, the alcohol I notice less and less the more I drink it. And, and it's got, it has a nice character to it, so it's a well brewed beer, so I'm going to go with the B for Hell Half No Fury from Bell's. I wish we could get Bell's in San Diego, but unfortunately we can't. Um, they could get it in Arizona, which is very odd. But that's going to wrap it up for Hell Half No Fury. Till next time, please come and subscribe. Cheers.